Todd also has some great information for us about the uh, Modern Real Estate Summit and the 365 Pass for the Modern uh, Mortgage Summit. So make sure you stick around for uh, information on that. Uh, before we get started um, if, uh, with this great content, if you have any questions, um, basically use the Zoom question and A uh, part um, uh, on the uh, Zoom webinar, and then we'll filter them over to Todd and uh, Dave. Um, now uh, it's time to meet our guests. Uh, Dave Savage, everybody knows him in our industry. Uh, he's the co-founder of Mortgage Coach. Uh, he's an innovator, a change agent known for reinventing how loan officers quote rates and turn mortgage advice into competitive advantage. Uh, Dave transforms originators into a black belt mortgage advisor with high tech and high trust strategies and tactics. Uh, he's a passionate about innovating sales training with combination of video and YouTube. Uh, the Mortgage, Co uh, Mortgage Coach YouTube channel is hailed as the Netflix for loan officers. Uh, Todd Bookspan, uh, he's been an entrepreneur and business leader for over 25 years. Uh, in the past 15 years, uh, he's been a mortgage originator. Um, Todd has been proven successful in cultivating both teams and branches. Um, and now he has designed the Win by Noon Planner uh, as a tool to help uh, increase productivity. Uh, so now I'm excited to uh, welcome both Dave and Todd to our Ever Evergreen Leadership uh, Advantage Series. Uh, I know we're going to learn a lot of good stuff today. So Dave and Todd, take it from here. Well, hey, thanks for that great introduction, Todd. And Evergreen, thank you for promoting this, getting behind it. Uh, Todd, Booksman, and I have a lot of passion for the mortgage industry. We've both been doing this for more than two decades. I think I'm, I'm going on my third decade, 30 years in the mortgage business. And it's been such a blessing to me and my family. Uh, I, I just got so lucky I got into the mortgage business. So we're, we're going to try to unpack what it means to be a modern mortgage advisor. We do want this to be as interactive as you guys want it to be. So while you could post in that Q&A part, uh, Todd and I, we moderate a lot of masterminds like this. You could also put something in comments and him and I will we'll be going back and forth. And if you have a shout out like, you want to share something positive, uh, put it down below and we'll share that with the audience. And if you have a question, we'll get to it. Uh, Todd, any thoughts or opening comments for you before we, we get into it? Yeah, I just want to thank Evergreen as well. I think it's such a, a fun opportunity uh, for you and I to get together and uh, talk about, I think, something we're both so passionate about, which is you know, being a modern mortgage advisor and really how, how we can be better in this industry. You know, I was uh, just like you, I feel super blessed to be in the industry. I'm just over two decades, a little behind you. Um, but, uh, you know, not that I didn't meet Dave my first day in the business, but I actually bought Mortgage Coach on my first day in the business. So I feel like I've known you for 20 years and I've just enjoyed the fact that we've had such a great opportunity to teach together now uh, for the past five years. Yeah, no, it's an honor, dude. You, you know, for many folks don't know it, Todd's branch has done over 500 units and it's not branch, his team. The Todd Bookspan team has done over 500 loans a year. Um, is it nine years? For nine years yeah, you've done that? Nine years, kind of crazy. I, I remember when, you know, 500 loans in a, in a year for a team was like, what? I mean, that was like the four minute mile. It's still an incredible accomplishment, but there are more teams doing that, but there, there's not a lot that have, have done that for nine years. I mean, it's a very elite, very small group. And, and, and so Todd brings a lot of value. So, so guys, let me frame today's conversation and, and we're gonna pull from this event that we did. So we did this event several months ago. We had 29 loan officers that accounted for over 5 billion. And, and actually they ended up the year, I think with over 6 billion. So just a powerhouse group of producers. Uh, it was a very well attended event. We sold almost 10,000 tickets. But the thing that was amazing about it is that it was viewed 6,000, 6,200 people watched 80% of the live event. And I'm not saying that to brag, although maybe I am saying it to brag a little bit, but I, I'm really saying it to say that this was some really powerful content that a lot of loan officers consumed. That means there's some really valuable takeaways. Uh, another thing that's kind of unique about it is that it was micro content. So the vast majority, almost 50 of the presentations were less than five minutes. They were like how to do things that modern loan officers need to know how to do. And then six of them were 18 minute keynotes. So it was a, it was a different event. Uh, you know, we are gonna tell anybody who wants to get access to that, how to get access to that. But Todd and I are gonna, we're, everything we share, we're sharing from what 
actual practitioners that are killing it in the market today. I also want to put it on your calendar for next Tuesday at nine o'clock. We're going to be doing Scriptapalooza. This is a free event sponsored by Mortgage Coach and, and Win by Noon. And we've got uh, 13 loan officers that closed 4.5 billion. So every one of them did over 100 loans. And we're just going to be doing scripts like, hey, what do you say to a family when they ask you, what's your rate? Uh, in today's market, one of the most common things people are getting is, hey, I, I got a, a father-in-law or a buddy at work that said, don't buy now. It's a bubble. Uh, you know, what do you say? So we're going to have all the most important scripts that loan officers need, how to get a meeting with a realtor. We're going to have a script for that. And we'll cover some of that today. So we're going to give you a lot of it today. So Todd, I, I kind of framed it. You want to go first um, with kind of defining what a modern mortgage professional is and maybe maybe start with leadership? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, there's three parts, you know, that Dave and I see as far as to be a modern mortgage leader. It's leadership, strategy, and technology. And, you know, always, uh, you know, you're a leader. Uh, I, I tend to find when I start talking about leadership, when I'm talking to an individual loan officer, they're like, well, I'm not a leader. And, and I would absolutely disagree with you. You, you are a leader, right? Uh, Self-leadership always precedes team leadership. And even if you're an individual loan officer, you are uh, leading others in your organization. You've got a process or you've got other people that, that you're making sure you take care of. And you're also leading your clients through a great process. And, and so that's really uh, always really critical is just making sure that you understand um, that you are um, a leader. And, um, and so Dave just threw up the slide, which is great. It kind of talks through, you know, what you as a leader need to, you know, be thinking about, right? One is, is your coach, right? You're coaching your clients through the process. You're coaching your team uh, through the process. Um, you are um, oftentimes being coached, right? I know that within Evergreen, there's um, some great coaches there. I spent a few years in the, in the coach's chair for a company called Building Champions. And ironically, I had uh, great clients at, uh, at Evergreen and, uh, and really enjoyed uh, my, my time with them. And um, again, great uh, EQ, emotional intelligence, right? You've got to bring emotional intelligence to the conversation because it's high stress, right? You're, especially right now, right? You've got clients now who are just going under contract who thought they were getting a rate with a two in front of it and are getting a rate in three in front of it. So for you to have emotional intelligence to walk them through, and that's where some of the tools we'll talk about, I think will, um, will come into play. And I mean, ultimately in the end, it's uh, such an important part of who you are. Um, and a modern mortgage advisor is always going to take a leadership approach, right? You're going you're gonna to be the one who sets the stage and gets everyone through the process. And then I also think one thing that's, that wasn't on Dave's slide that's really critical is um, ownership and leadership over your time. Uh, what I find, obviously, in Win by Noon, I'm out teaching productivity day in and day out. And I tend to find that most loan officers uh, just are reactive, right? They get up in the morning, they look at their email, and then that's how they start their day. And then they get a text message from a client at retail, and that's what they do next. Um, and they just bounce around as they're going through their day, not really being proactive about what they do. Um, and modern mortgage advisors also have leadership over their schedule. They've got actually a plan in place. Um, they actually have things that they do uh, day in and day out, week in and week out to make sure that they're great leaders of their agents, of their team and of their clients through the process. Uh, what else would you add, Dave? Guys, meeting. there's there's so much to add, and we're gonna we're gonna cover high level overview of of what are the the three pedestals to a modern professional, and everybody thinks it's just technology. Oh, modern professional does video. By the way, yeah, modern professional does do video, but leadership is more important than technology because without being a leader to yourself, without being a great leader to your team, you're not going to adopt the technology and you're not gonna use it in a best practice way. So I just, I just can't emphasize enough that when, it, when, when you look at what is a modern mortgage professional, it's, it's, a, it's a great leader and, and they have a great, good emotional IQ. They ask great questions. They take the time and listen to those questions from their consumers. And then I, I did you know put values based leader. I do think modern mortgage professionals, they have personal brands and, and, they, and they are value-based leaders. So, so take, a, take a screenshot of what I just showed. We'll, we'll show it a couple times throughout the conversation, but I'll just, I'll just run through the technology side real quick. And then Todd, let's just 
kind of go back and forth. Hopefully we get some engagement and, and we will teach and show some specific strategies. But from a, from a technology standpoint, guys, they use their CRM hourly. Traditional loan officers don't necessarily use their CRM hourly, but modern loan officers, they want to keep promises at scale. They want to do annual reviews. They want to have um, campaigns to clients. Uh, they use their CRM. It's driving their day-to-day -day behaviors. They're, they're using a link to take an app. And, and that's not a new idea anymore. But guys, two years ago, think about like two years ago, how many people were using a link to take an app? It was not the majority. It was less than 20%. In fact, you know, three or four years ago is when the rocket went off, commercial like click button, get mortgage, that, that started. So in, in less than five years, that idea to have a family fill out the app themselves has gone from it's an idea to it is how the majority of apps are taken or with a link. Uh, if you are not taking 80% of your apps with a link, there may, you know, could be your market, could be your consumers, and it could be you. You just haven't evolved to do that. Modern mortgage professional uses a link to give advice, and that's Mortgage Coach. And I'll, I'll show what that looks like in a minute, and I'll show a couple of the most common strategies in today's market on how to give a link. A modern mortgage professional uses a link to deliver a video. So BombBomb Bomb is a big player in the mortgage um, mortgage industry, but they have competitors. There's CoVideo, there's Vidyard, uh, there's Dub. Uh, there's a lot of ways of doing it. There's text video uh, where you met with a realtor and you just sent them a quick text or you had a phone call with a realtor and you sent them a quick video text. But they, they use video, they use links. And then probably one of the, the newest trends that I'm seeing from a technology standpoint is using a link to schedule a meeting. Uh, I use the link in my CRM, but Calendly is a, is a leader in that space. And I, I would just say, as someone who uses a link to schedule the majority of my meetings, it's a tremendous time saver. It is what modern executives do. And if you're not using a link to schedule meetings with clients, highly recommend you start doing that. Uh, it's more efficient for you. And it's also more efficient for the, for the consumer. I remember, I don't know if it was two years ago, whenever I got my first link to schedule a meeting, I was not pumped about it. I mean, I was kind of like, wait, you want me to do your work for you? Uh, and and I, it, was, it, was, it was mildly irritating and I didn't do it. Um, two years later, it's like, I don't like scheduling meetings with people without like, hey, give me your link or I'll give you my link, let's go. So it's another example of technology that's driving a modern mortgage professional. Remember guys, questions, comments, uh, would love to know how many of you guys are doing that. And um, I'll share a strategy. We did put a link if for anyone who wants to get access to the, the one year pass to the Modern Mortgage Summit content. It's over eight hours of content. It's broken up in micro content. Uh, there's a link down below so you can get access to that. Um, Todd, where should we go from here? You know, I just, I'd like to just kind of reiterate a couple of things that, you know, that you said it's, you know, and I'll kind of go, I guess maybe in reverse order. I mean, when it comes to scheduling with a link, I mean, think about how many times you've gone back and forth with someone via email. Hey, are you available at three o'clock? No, no. How about four o'clock? Oh no, I'm only available at four 30, right? It's just, it's the ease of the process. Um, and I would say this, the one thing to remember is if you send someone a link, make sure that you're available and you hit the meeting. That's, uh, I feel like where, when I talk to people, that was their kind of rookie mistakes was someone scheduled a meeting with them next Tuesday at three o'clock and next Tuesday came and, and at three 15, the person's like, Hey, you forgot to call me. Right. So, uh, but it's a great way to do it. It's just an efficient efficiency, right? Again, um, I'm all focused on time. That to me is where most loan officers get bogged down as they're busy, right? I don't have time. And it's just one more place, you know, for you to save some time. Um, you know, as far as the video piece, right? I mean, there, a lot of CRMs now have that built that in. Just remember too, you know, your phone has great native uh, build-in of uh, video text. You can literally just record on your phone and shoot over a video text. There was um, a great segment in there with a loan officer who actually sends out 150 to 200 personalized video texts every week to realtors and how he's used it to build his uh, business. It was just one of my favorite uh, one of my favorite segments and one that got a lot of uh, props from the, from the community afterwards. And then really CRM, right? I mean, companies like Evergreen, you guys have a great CRM 
And a CRM is just a great way for you to be more efficient with your time. And that's where you can schedule in there. Hey, here's my next call. Hey, here's the group of people I'm going to call now. Just ways to increase your efficiency, right? And make you more consistent in what you do each day. And that's what that technology is designed to do. And so the reason that, that Dave and I talk about modern mortgage advisors take advantage of technology is because you're absolutely using it to save time. And then last but not least, of course, is the total cost analysis. You know, as I mentioned, I stumbled into mortgage coach my first day in the mortgage business, but I'll tell you that one of the ways that uh, that I've seen loan officers this last year gain momentum and, and save time was putting that video on the total cost analysis for their refinance review or their purchase, where they can actually take the time to, instead of having a 15, 20 minute conversation um, with a spouse and then with the other spouse, and then maybe with the parents or whoever their, their friend, the mortgage advisor is, it's recording one short video that explains it all, then having a short follow-up call or even just getting a response back saying, awesome, hey, I'm gonna go with strategy number two. Um, that's the one I want. And so modern mortgage advisors are using technology because it saves time. And if you think about it, um, companies like, uh, well, we won't name their, name their names, but big online mortgage lenders, believe it or not, they've got departments where they're doing mortgages with just chat, right? When I was originating, I didn't really love sending out the link because I thought it was impersonal, right? I'd like to talk to someone on the phone. I'd like to make a connection with them about, you know, oh, you're from Arkansas. Oh, great. I, you know, have a friend from Arkansas or, you know, oh, you have three kids. Oh, I've got three kids and all those kinds of connection points. But when you realize that um, even companies, uh, big banks reported last year that over 60% of their transactions were originated online for these old big banks that are kind of stodgy and aren't uh, thinking ahead like you are. Um, that just tells you that maybe we all need to be adapting as well. And just know that, you know, these departments where literally they're closing loans without a human ever actually talking to the other human, it's all done via chat. That just tells you that the consumer is now willing to do business that way. Therefore you need to be. And I think that's why Dave, you nailed it with those topics. Yeah, so let's let's go through and look what a modern mortgage professional does, how they deliver advice, how it's unique and different, and and this is a great example of a top producer, you know, with Evergreen. Uh, you notice he's he's got the company brand, he's got his team brand, he's got the photo. So when you deliver rates and fees, are you doing it in a way that's a competitive advantage? You know, the the old school way. Of delivering rates and fees is it's it's this it's the fee worksheet and and here is the reality guys if you are a mortgage professional it's status quo so there's nothing unique and different and from a data perspective it's rate payment and cash to close it's transactional data we call that the transactional triangle and and here is the reality guys from a from an education perspective it's not a competitive advantage it's not showing the family the benefit of different loan options over time, right down beyond the transaction. You need to go beyond the transaction. And here's the other reality, guys. It, it is commoditization. You are commoditizing yourself. It's shoppable. It's not a service. It's not valuable. And, and you look at that in contrast to this, where it's got a video. We highly recommend, if you're modern, you're using text video, you're doing mortgage coach video, bomb bomb or whatever um, platform you use, you're using video. And then guys, you're giving family options. If it's a purchase scenario, those options might be down payment options. It might be interest rate options. Uh, it's, 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 but you're giving a family options and, and then you're showing them the cost beyond the transaction. You're saying, hey, here is the monthly difference in these options, but what's, what's the difference over time? And, and here's the other deal. As a modern loan officer, when the client picks the option, they pick the loan officer. And then, of course, what else does a modern loan officer do? They're strategic about getting reviews online. They're strategic about integrating reviews into their sales and marketing process. This is a beautiful example of how social survey integrates with a mortgage coach total cost analysis. And, and here's the deal, guys. Well, Michael is a very senior old school, traditional loan officer, Michael's a modern mortgage professional. He has adopted mortgage coach. He has adopted video. He has adopted, uh, you know, getting reviews and putting them in the places that they matter most. Uh, and my guess is Michael uses a CRM hourly. And, and, and so that's just a, an example. Another um, idea and tactic that I think uh, every loan officer needs to know how to do in today's market 
is, is this. They need to know how to help a family decide if they should be moving up. So this was a loan officer where they talked to a family and they could have refied and saved $322 a month. Great. They, they could move up. This is a family who kind of wanted an extra bedroom in a better school district based on the age of their kids. And the loan officer was able to say, hey, you qualify for a 5% down loan. Now, buying that move up at 5% is going to raise your payment by $507. And they're like, noted. Uh, and, and then here's the deal, guys. You could buy that home non-contingent. You could sell your current home. They had equity. You could take that 125 in equity and you could buy down your mortgage and recash your payment. So guys, this family was in a position and they did not know it, that they could actually get their next bigger move up home and lower their monthly payment. Now, what this family decided to do is they're saying, hey, after going through COVID, we'd like that 125 where we can get to it if we need to. And we've got a financial planner that's earning 8% on our money. So what would it look like? Let's be conservative and look at what would it look like if we bought the dream home, we'll take the higher payment, take the 125, invest it with our financial planner. What's, what's that look like? You guys, this is what a modern loan officer can do. Modern loan officer can net that out for a family and show them how they can build wealth with real estate faster. Again, beyond the transaction. Here's an acronym I want everybody to write down right now. W-A-C-D. What does W-A-C-D mean? Now, here's the deal. You could Google it and get the answer really quick. And if you work for Nordstrom's or a specialty retailer, they've been obsessing on WACD for a decade or they're going out of business. It's what Amazon can't do. Uh, now, we're in the mortgage and real estate space, so we need to add a Z to it. What Amazon and Zillow can't do, we need to do. And then here's the deal, guys. We also need to do what they can do. So we need to give a link for an app. We need to use video so we can... They're not going to put a video on it. They're not going to have a local professional put a video on it. They're not going to go the extra mile to deliver this kind of advice. And then here's, here's the other benefit to this strategy, guys. Now you all can take, hey, I got that move up buyer that I have motivated to move up. I can refer them to a listing agent. And the listing agent also gets a move up buyer. So really good example of a modern strategy uh, using Mortgage Coach. Uh, now, again, when you get into the strategy piece, I think modern mortgage professionals get to the consumer first. And by the way, consumer first doesn't necessarily mean I'm buying leads. Consumer first could mean you're really good with your database. Consumer first could be I'm really strategic with social media and I get a bunch of leads. Consumer first is I'm doing annual reviews for my client and I'm taking those leads and giving them to my realtors. Consumer first could be, I'm really strategic about working with CPAs and financial planners and getting business and leads and then giving them back to my realtors. Consumer first means that you're more than a loan officer to a real estate agent. You're a conversion partner and you're a business development partner. Uh, Todd, anything you want to jump in and add or any questions come in? Um, well, we had uh, Amy Trim who said that she uses a link about 50% of the time. So big uh, high five to you. And uh, someone else uh, asked about uh, the sessions being recorded. So we'll ask the Evergreen folks. I'm assuming the answer is yes. I'm, uh, we'll see if uh, Todd at the end can wrap up and tell everyone how to access that. And then um, I, I think a couple of things I would throw out there, and then we do have another question, is um, going back to, um, you know, you said schedule calendar and schedule Zoom on that slide. And again, again, a modern mortgage loan officer in COVID, where your branch may be closed or maybe where you, for some reason, um, you know, are still for health reasons, not meeting clients face to face, right? You have Zoom in there, right? Using video, um, live video for meetings is is a huge one. And uh, one of the things that that Dave also mentioned was the the review part, right? I mean, social proof right now is so important. And anytime that you can build up your reviews, we we didn't have not one but actually two videos in the Modern Mortgage Summit on how to get more reviews, scripting around it, and strategies that loan officers 
thing to do that. And I could tell you, it's amazing when you get a phone call from someone who says, you say, great, well, how did you find us? And they say, gosh, I found you online because of your reviews. And I would encourage you to ask clients for reviews. And I would encourage you to ask clients to be specific around reviews. I talked to a loan officer last week and they had a client who was having an issue on a VA loan and that uh, client said, I read a review specifically where someone said that they had the same problem on their loan and you were able to overcome it. And that's why they got the call. And so think about that. I mean, that's tells you how your clients are going to potentially find you by, you know, by being out there. I think that that is uh, just really, really critical. So, so guys, this is what you're seeing on my screen right now is the modern mortgage summit. So this is the, the 365 day pass which means if you sign up for this, and we did put a link in chat, uh, it's $100 and you have access to this for 365 days from the day that you bought it. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it's not like it's started at the beginning of the year, it starts from the day you bought it. And, 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 and like I said, we had these keynote presentations. One of them was Kelly Zitlow talking about videos, not optional. And she does a great job. She's probably, I saw someone make a comment about YouTube. Uh, she, she is probably one of the best loan officers in the country when it comes to a YouTube channel. And, and you have this awesome keynote that she did where she walks you through that. So, uh, just want to call that out. Todd, any, I, well, you know what, before we move on and share more tactics, I do want to go to the person that said, I give a link to 50% of my people. And, and guys, that's another really good point. I mean, a modern loan officer, doesn't always mean use technology. Like we know at Mortgage Coach that when someone gives a link to the TCA, we know that nationally it gets clicked on three times. And, and we know that there are some loan officers where their average is it gets clicked on 10 times. And, and then I've interviewed a lot of loan officers and I've talked to many loan officers that said, you know what? I had a family, um, two of the people downloaded the app and they wanted it. And there was a family member that was willing to drive 30 minutes to get a piece of paper. Guys, that's being able to support any family, how they want to be supported. If it's a link, which is a growing percentage of the population, that's how we support them. But a piece of paper or email back and forth, a modern originator is consumer first. They're, you know, they're giving the family the communication and they're doing business with the family in the way that the family wants. So um, for the person that commented 50%, I, I am willing to bet that it could be more than that. Uh, Amy, thank you for volunteering that. Uh, I'll ask you two questions. One, those 50% of the times, does it save you time? And my answer, my guess is it saves you a lot of time. And do you think more people would want it? if you just change some of your language and your words around it. Uh, so if you want to add more comments on that, Todd, any other questions coming in that you well, see? It's perfect. That we Someone's asking, uh, Christopher's asking, how do you get a borrower or client to overcome the link for schedule? And I think it's just to encourage them. Hey, I'm going to save you some time rather than us going back and forth. I'll shoot you over a link. Um, just pick a time that works for you. And you'll know because it's available um, in my calendar that, that I will absolutely be available Time, so that way you don't have to worry about calling me at a random time and not getting me uh, or, um, or asking me for a time where I'm not available. Um, a script like that, I think really works. Um, what, any suggestions on that, Dave? Um, no, no, nothing to add to that particular one. Okay. And one other note is um, where it's available, it's on the Evergreen Home Office Facebook page. Um, this is being broadcast live right now. You'll be able to see the video there and also on the Evergreen uh, corporate YouTube channel, you'll be able to access the recording of this later. Um, there's another great uh, uh, question that, that Brian has with regards to um, why it's important to input conversations, personal info, and follow-ups into your CRM for future calls, etc. cetera. Um, I'll tell you this, for me, it was because my memory wasn't that good. Um, but more importantly for me, when I was running a team was that it, that way my team knew what was going on as well, right? Your CRM is a tool that other people will have access to as well. So if you're an individual LO, you're putting those notes in there to remind yourself, right? You're reminding yourself that when you talk to your client and they told you that for uh, President's Day, they were going to be uh, going skiing with their uh, brother and sister and parents. Um, that way, when you follow back up with them, you don't have to remember, hey, what did they do? Hey, how was skiing with your um, over President's Day, right? You can ask them about those trips. So number one is it helps you build uh, 
it helps you build relationship with your clients and your referral partners by remembering what it is that you talked about, right? It's, it's how you build that long-term bond and how you get not just the loan you're working on, but that future loan. Now, the other part is if you have a team, I think it's really important as well to make sure that that information is in there because we all know it. We've all been through some type of business transaction. Where we've told somebody something and then we get transferred to somebody else and they ask us the same stinking question we just answered. And so there's nothing more uh, annoying for your clients that when they uh, tell you that they're getting a gift for their down payment and then it gets over to your process or your assistant and they say, hey, by the way, where's your down payment coming from, right? It just also saves time and communication as well. Um, and I think those are the probably the highlights of that. Um, anything else you would think on the CRM piece, Dave? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer the Amy commented back. So she's the one that said, hey, 50% of the time um, I'm using the link. And she said, yes, I think I should be um, receptive by at least 20%. Honestly, I think I should do more to be more effective on my wording. And so, I, and, I, and I agree that I think probably 80% of the time, a modern mortgage professional should be um, using a link for an app. And I think over 80%, or probably over 90%, you should be using a link uh, to take the app. And 100% of the time, you should be a link to giving, to giving the advice. I want to tell a story really quick around uh, one of the, the presentations. It was a how-to presentation in Scripta, or not in Scripta Palooza, but in our uh, Modern Mortgage Summit. Jeremy Forcier um, has this great script to get business from current clients in escrow. And, and guys, this is going to ROI the whole hour, you know, the next two minutes. If you do what I tell you to do, the hour you just spent listening to Todd and I, ROI is your hour. Uh, and then some. So, so here's the deal. Most loan officers ask current customers for referrals. And the most common way is when they take the loan, you know, there's a hundred different ways that they say it, but they ask for a referral. And, and Jeremy, who tracks every lead that he gets, um, found that, you know what, my, my leads, the referrals I get from people in escrow are in process. I have the highest conversion rates. And, and he, he said, so I have the best conversion. I'm going to get more of those. And he tested this idea. He said, you know, when I ask him at the beginning, I get some leads, but it's not like consistent business. It's not a lot. So here's what he implemented. As he waited until a point in the process of the loan where the customer said, thank you. So the sequence of when he did it and how he did it matters. He waited till that consumer said, thank you. And usually that's when the loan's approved or clear to docs, but there's a point where they're texting him. Thank you so much. There's an email. Thank you so much. But when that client says, thank you, and they're feeling super grateful, this is his script and he's got it saved as a signature in outlook. So literally you can just click a button. Boom. This is the template. This is what they get every time headline. We love helping you. Can you help me with something? My goal this year is to work with more people I like. Can you introduce me to two people? I should know, or I could help. And guys in this market, renters that want to buy, families that want to move up, people that want to refi, people have more equity, people that want to do debt consolidation refis. He gets referrals all the time. It's not only one of his largest or best conversion lead sources, it's one of his most consistent um, referral ways is current customers. So it's really good example of how just the sequence of how you ask, the words of how you ask can literally explode your results by 10 times. So hopefully you guys will implement that. I have shared that from a number of stages. Um, and obviously it was shared at our Modern Mortgage Summit. If anyone is doing that and having success, we'd love to hear, you, hear from you. So comment down below. Uh, Todd, any other questions? Come in. Yeah. Well, let me just add something on that. When I first saw it, again, this is where my head went. Went like, well, that's not really who I am. That's not how I would send a, uh, an email out as a referral. Like I was thinking, oh, if I was still doing loans, I would change that up and send it differently. I would tell you this, don't. Believe it or not, that works, right? That's why people are doing it. Um, we've had people over and over since the Modern Mortgage Summit tell us that they got ROI from using that email just as it is then maybe you can tweak it later, but don't overthink it. Just start sending it. Like Dave said, I mean, that is one of those things where we know it works 
And we just have to figure out how to convince you that it works. And I would just tell you to try it. It's, it's so easy. It'll take you two minutes to set it up today and then just start sending it out as, as the need arises. I think it's, uh, I think it's really huge. So I want to, I want to dogpile on that because he's so point. And I can, I can think of a loan officer that I was doing some mentoring with. And he's like, yeah, I saw that Jeremy 4CA thing. It's not working. I'm like, well, what are you doing? He's like, well, I'm waiting until they say thank you. And then I'm sending this email with a bomb bomb video. I'm like, I don't think that's Jeremy's strategy. It, it isn't now send this video that they have to click on and watch. And it's not consistent. It's not scannable. It's not easy. That's not the idea. Do Just take Jeremy's saying, cut and paste it and do it. Literally, that day, he's like, I've already got a lead. Next day, oh my God, this thing works. So I just want to dogpile what Todd said. Like, this is one of those ideas where usually when I when, when it comes to scripts, I'm like, oh, personalize it, make it yours. This is one of those scripts where like, don't personalize it, make it yours. Cut and paste, take a picture of what I showed you. If you missed it, it this is recorded. You'll get the recording, go back to it. It's, you know, we're, we're 37 minutes into this thing. So about 33 minutes into this call, go to it cut and paste it, use it as it is. And then if you want to personalize it, um, but start with the core strategy. So someone asked how to sign up for Scriptapalooza. This is a free event uh, sponsored by Mortgage Coach and Win by Noon. And I just put a link down below, click there. Um, it'll be next Tuesday from nine to 11. And, and it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. I mean, like I said, we've got 11, no, 13 loan officers that have closed over um, 4.5 billion. All of them are hundred million dollar producers and they're all going to share like, this is my best script. Uh, Todd, any other questions or anything else you want to cover? Yeah, we got a great question. My team and I would like to create an efficient process for staying connected with past clients. Do you have any suggestions? You want me to go first? Um, sure. Okay. I'll go first. So, so first of all, think, of value beyond the transaction. And, and value is, you know, marketing is good. It's top of mind. You should market to your past customers. But when I think of value, first and foremost, I think of an annual review, making sure that you are reaching out to your clients annually and, and making that a mark. And, and I've seen a lot of different ways of doing that. I mean, I've seen everybody from sending out an email, it's got some words, it's your anniversary, uh, Click this link if you want to schedule a 15-minute annual review with me. That works. Uh, I have seen uh, people put bomb bomb videos and send those out. Um, it works. Uh, but but doing annual reviews and then of course doing a mortgage coach total cost analysis for that family. Uh, so I think that's a great strategy. Kind of blending technology and strategies. I'm a big fan of Homebot. Uh, I'm a big fan of it because. Consumers like it. They're clicking on it more than 60% of the time. I've heard some loan officers that the family's engaging monthly 80%, but a, a lot. It's like anything you can do that gives value to the family consistently. And of course, it integrates with Mortgage Coach. So I love that. Anything you can do to add value to the consumer beyond the transaction and annual reviews are Umro number one. And then technologies like HomeBot. Um, is a great idea and great strategy. Todd, and, and Todd, this is one of your wheelhouses. Uh, before you were a coach, before you were the founder of Win by Noon, I had interviewed you a number of times as a leader in the mortgage coach community for how consistently and how effectively you did annual reviews. You know, it's funny. Uh, so I'm, for those of you who don't know uh, HomeBot, I'm just throwing in, in a chat a link to it where you get a discount code. Um, I won't go off on a, on a discussion there, but it's just a great way to proactively send uh, the information that the consumer wants to them every month, right? They're going on to Zillow and sites like that to look at home value. Why don't you make yourself the home value expert and uh, send them uh, that information directly yourself, cut out the real estate agent, and you can be the consumer first person. Uh, yeah, Dave, you mentioned annual mortgage reviews. You know, I, I laughed. I mean, yeah, way back to, you know, 2008 or 2009, I think was the first time that you interviewed me about annual mortgage reviews. And I think it's just one of those uh, critical things for a modern advisor to do, uh, because when you have a script along the lines of, hey, what makes me different than other loan officers is that I'm actually gonna proactively manage your mortgage going forward. So I'm not gonna stop right when I cash your commission check, when your loan closes, my job will start then and I'll 
I'll be the person who actually is overseeing your loan, whether it's to eliminate your private mortgage insurance, whether rates drop, or really just to stay in touch with you to make sure that you've always got the lowest cost strategy um, on your home loan. And though you're using that upfront as a script to convert clients, because that's going to be different than what they hear when they talk to any other call center or any other loan officer, most likely. And then it gives you that excuse, right? Hey, remember when I told you I was going to check in with you? Boom, you're checking in with them every month. And then those are the, the loan officers who have who had great annual mortgage review strategies who just crushed it over the last 12 months because their clients didn't think, hey, let me go online to bank rate or lending tree or somewhere like that to figure out what mortgage rates are. They knew that their loan officer had been watching over them and that their loan officer would be reaching out to them, or they were proactively saying, Hey, you know, hey, LO, how's my rate look? And I hear rates are getting lower. And it really just created that, that connection that a lot of loan officers uh, didn't get. And so I think that that is a, a really easy thing to integrate here, especially um, as rates go up. It's an easy call. Hey, was just checking with you. Um, you crushed it last year and you got that rate in the twos. Rates are higher now. Again, you're reiterating it, but you're keeping in touch with them. Um, then you can send them the follow-up email. Thanks again for your time. They send you the follow-up email. Hey, oh, no, thanks for your time. And then you can send them that script that they just gave asking for referrals, right? There's going to be great opportunities for loan officers who continue to keep in touch with their clients and uh, really follow up um, in that way. I think that was a, a great example, Dave. Yeah. So another strategy, you know, I, I showed that move up analysis because we're in a pivot to purchase market. And, you know, the two things I think every modern mortgage professional should know how to do is how to create urgency and clarity for a move up buyer. And, and even if they're like, hey, we're moving up and they're done, like go the extra mile, show them the, the you know, when you show that family how much wealth because of this move up they're going to have, they're going to have a whole different emotional connection to you. They're going to have a whole new level of value from you. So, so make sure you're doing that. And, and that's the other thing. In today's market, um, I don't know where everybody is at, but in a lot of markets, appraisals aren't coming in at list price. And people are being put in positions at some purchase prices to have to pay more than the list price to get the home. So when you're a mortgage advisor that can tell these stories and put these strategies together, it helps create confidence and urgency for clients so that they're willing to pay the price they need to to get to the home. So I wanna show uh, another strategy and, and this particular one is a rent versus own. And, and so everybody should be doing this to create urgency with your move up buyers. Uh, show them what renting looks like and what their monthly payment is based off of their assumptions and then show them some options. Part of the paradigm to being a modern mortgage professional is showing options. Modern loan officers give families options. And by the way, there's science to selling around that. There are a lot of sales consultants that teach option selling. And when you give a family options and they pick one, they pick you. It's a conversion tool and strategy. So give them options. And then, and then guys, the magic is to go beyond the transaction. Show them what that looks like over 36 or 60 months. And then show them what that looks like over 10 years, you know, like when it comes to renting or owning versus renting, where it really pops is the net worth over, over a period of time. And this is over 10 years. This is a family that going from renting to owning 10 years later, based on their assumptions of appreciation rates, they're going to have between two and $300,000 in net worth more than renting. And, and what happens guys, when you do that, you're giving the agent a more motivated buyer you're giving the agent, um, you're helping with lead conversion. Uh, that's the other thing. I think modern loan officers are able to talk to agents and say, look, yeah, I close loans on time. Yeah, we can have everybody pre-approved within X period of time. But they're able to talk about how, you know what? I'm going to be a conversion partner for you. You refer someone to me, it's going to improve your conversion. Real estate agents care about their conversion. You can be a, a conversion partner. Realtors care about, I'm going to create more in sense of urgency with your prospects. Top realtors like that. And so when you're a modern mortgage professional, you're able to say that, and then you're able to demonstrate that within your sales experience. Todd, any comments or thoughts on that? And remember guys, questions down below.
Well, no, I mean, I think you're just continuing to point out the fact that, right, as a leader, right, you're the one who's leading leading your client down the right path. And I do love the fact that you highlighted that when, uh, when someone has choices, right, you know that most consumers who are calling you are asking you what's, what's your rate right? Because that's what, that's the only question they know to ask. They don't know more. And ironically, most of the time, if you ask them, are you aware that there's actually more than one rate available? They're going to say no, right? They called some other lender, said, what's your rate? They gave them a number. They didn't tell them what the fees were. They didn't tell them what the cost was. And ultimately what they've done is they've set up their, their client for the, the, for a surprise down the road. And that's obviously not your your goal. And so your goal is to educate them by giving those options and explaining to them that you're going to give them their cost over time so that they can make the choice to select a loan that best meets their long and short-term financial and investment goals. That's how you're going to really uh, dial them in. So I, I just want to, you know, con- continue to, um, you know, keep that uh, top of mind for all you guys that, that obviously from a technology perspective, uh, Dave's presenting you with a tool that gives you lots of different, lots of different uh, advantages. So, so I'm going to just, this is going to be my last strategy that I share, uh, but I think it's an equally important one. Um, so hopefully you've got a takeaway so far that I need to be able to give advice anytime, anywhere. Part of our strategy at Mortgage Coach is to take financial planning tactics. Like, hey, what if I um, refinanced and I took my monthly savings and I prepaid my mortgage? How many years faster would I pay it off? Uh, you saw that move up. Hey, what if I moved up and I took my equity in my old home and invested it or prepaid my mortgage. So that's financial planning tactic. Options are sales tactics and then using technology. Modern mortgage experience is giving a family what they want, where they want. It just so happens most families, they want advice and information on their mobile phone. Uh, Some people still want paper. Most people want a hybrid, you know, like I'm taking notes and I'm using tech. Uh, And but, but here's, here's what you guys need to do. If you want to be modern, you need to go beyond the fee worksheet, rate, payment, cash to close, deliver an experience. And here's a great debt can solve opportunity. So that's the thing, like when you're talking to existing homeowners, you should start with, hey, how's your house working out for you? Um, how old do you want to be when your home's paid off? Uh, that, but if, they, if they're digging their house, they love where they're at. It's time to go into a debt console. And this is what it looks like for a modern originator that's doing a debt console loan. Is they're showing, hey, here's your current situation. Here's a couple options. And, and, and let me show you, in this particular case, the consumer wanted to take some cash out for some home improvements. The consumer had some debt that could be consolidated. And this modern mortgage professional was able to ask these questions. And then they were able to net it out. They were able to say, hey, family, Here's some short-term benefits. Here's some long-term benefits and, and really net it out. Here's your debt and here's some strategies to pay off your debt faster. And here's how I can help give you a financial makeover and help you get out of debt faster. That's what a modern loan officer can do. If you aren't able to concisely and clearly in a you know mobile phone, print this out and give it to them in paper, just, just know that that's an area of improvement. You're, you're, you, you might be almost modern, but you're not all the way there yet. So Todd, I think it's really important. We got about 11 minutes left. We'll make sure guys, any questions you have, we put in here, but we, we should close out on leadership. And I, I can't think of anything more important than leadership than just like win by noon. I mean, it's, it's a planner that you built, but it's also a community. It's also a concept that, that if, if you win by noon, you will win, period. You win the day, you win the week. You win the week, you win the month. You win the 12 months, you win the year. And it all starts with winning by noon. So Todd, would you mind just, you know, maybe five minutes on win by noon and make sure everybody understands the concept and they all understand uh, your win by noon planner and how that might help them? Yeah, absolutely. It was funny because Brian asked in the, in the chat, uh, about time blocking and win by noon is not about time blocking, but you know, you mentioned it win by noon is, is that it's really a philosophy first and foremost, right? 80% of you who are here are morning, uh, early morning and, and mid morning people, meaning you have your most energy then to get the most done, um, which means that your energy fades as you get going in the day. And I mentioned it right when we kicked off this call that, that ultimately we tend to be reactive to everybody else. And because we're reacting to everybody else, we are not, 
uh, being proactive and running our own day. And so really what I created was a day planner. I mean, it's, it's nothing really that crazy. It's just a paper day planner. It's, it's pretty inexpensive. Um, I'm not running any promos on it or anything like that, just because we're about to have a major price increase. So um, it's a perfect time for someone who's interested in learning that, but really it's a, it's a system for tracking um, and recording your activities and your results to figure out what is it that I'm doing each day that's getting me to where I want to go. The top win by new users can tell you exactly how many phone calls they had to make last year in order to get one closed transaction, how many people they had to talk to last year in order to get one closed transaction. So think about that. They know not only if they make a certain number of phone calls this today or this week, how many loans they'll probably close at the end of the year. They also know really what's that dollar per activity for every time I pick up the phone. Like, it's crazy. If you actually did the math on it, you would realize that you're probably getting paid anywhere from $25 to $150 for every phone call you actually make. And when people realize that and, and have a tool like Win by Noon to figure it out, then they actually tend to make more calls. It's kind of funny how that works when you realize which activities are working to get the results that you're after. It's really critical. So it really just starts out as a day planner, but it's a day planner that actually helps you plan and organize, track and record the activities that really the most successful folks in sales work with. Um, one of the unique things that came out of it, of course, I built it after the system that I had, right? I think probably like a lot of you, I was a loan officer. Um, we were doing pretty good. Uh, we were actually closing about 400 loans uh, a year for three straight years, but I was frustrated. I was frustrated because I had this le the ceiling of complexity that I, that I got stuck behind. And when I really looked at, well, where was I getting uh, distracted? What was pulling me off? And it was the fact that most mornings I was busy uh, doing other things that other people wanted me to do and not actually doing what I knew were my most important activities. And so that next year I blocked off my calendar till 1130. I know why not win by 1130 because win by noon sounds way cooler. And I blocked off my calendar and I made it. That was my time to do my most important activities. I didn't block my whole day. I just actually blocked three hours from 830 to 1130. And then I set up a target day activities. And if you just go to winbynoon.com, you can see what we run lots of uh, content out there on how to, how we structure that, that day and that week. But ultimately, really, by me blocking off my calendar and doing my priorities first, guess what happened? I became more consistent, right? I converted more of my leads. Um, I became uh, you know, more true to my word. I told someone, hey, I'm going to give you an update call every Tuesday. Guess what? I actually made the calls every Tuesday instead of telling them I was going to do it. Um, Dan, Dave mentioned annual mortgage views. Guess what? I time scheduled for that. I was better and more consistent at that. And so even in a, a year where the Phoenix market where I originated in was flat year over year, um, we didn't get any new builder accounts. We didn't get any new big teams just with our same referral source as that we had the year before. We were able to increase our business over 44% that year, closed over 550 transactions. The first time I broke over $100 million, I broke through that ceiling by just say, saying, how can I think and be differently? And so Win by Noon is designed around that. And then fast forward, we put it out for loan officers because as I was coaching people are like, hey coach, if you could do that for me, I know that I would be really good at my job. Um, and then in the end, we ended up putting out a real estate agent edition. So it's just one more way for you to actually engage with your real estate partners, right? What if you could actually make your real estate partners more efficient at their job? What if you could actually help your uh, real estate partners actually close more transactions, guess what? Not only does that benefit them, but hey, it benefits you as well. And of course, um, one thing that we do track in every single uh, planner, uh, we have a mortgage coach edition. So of course that one's really cool. It's got mortgage coach branding on the cover, um, but whether it's a mortgage coach edition or not, it actually tracks total cost analysis in there because we know that that's a success metric. It also tracks annual mortgage reviews in there because we know that that's a metric. Um, and really in the end, it's just one more tool in your tool belt to help you be a little bit more organized, to help you be a little bit more efficient. And then really the philosophy is do your most important things first. Don't get stuck. Don't get caught up responding to emails and chasing pay stubs and things that are important, but they're not urgent. What's urgent is calling your realtors, it's calling your leads, it's calling your clients, it's making sure that you actually are doing a better job of doing your job. If you do that first, then everything will be better. And guess what? Most time it doesn't take until noon. Most time you can actually just crank it out and crank it out pretty quick. Yeah, win, win, win by 10. But, but guys, you got to be clear on what you're doing. I, I love the win by noon planner for a lot of things. You know, one, I like the fact that it's got a specific field for TCAs, but, but it's, it's made by loan officers top producing, top performing for loan officers. And, and remember guys, there is a realtor edition. So that, remember, modern mortgage professionals are leaders. They're bringing ideas, they're bringing leadership, they're bringing accountability, they're, they're using video, 
they're doing all the things that modern loan officers do uh, to help help families. So guys, we are in the last five minutes. So I do want to make sure um, any and all questions that have come in are in. Do want to remind folks that, you know, there are links down below. We put a link to, if you want to sign up and have access to the Modern Mortgage Summit and have that as a resource for training, it's there for you. If you want to check out HomeBot, we put a link, uh, you know, whatever, whatever else you guys want to talk about, let us know what it is. And then we will close out just, you know, going through the checklist and reviewing what it means to be a modern mortgage professional. Todd, any, any last questions come in before I pull up? Yeah, we got a couple of questions. Um, one is the best way to stay updated on consumer demand so that we can evolve and meet their needs. I, I think that's the leadership piece of asking better questions and listening better to your consumer, right? If you're on the phone day in and day out with consumers, that'll be your way. And then I would also say, you know, plug into the Mortgage Coach Productivity Mastermind community. Uh, Dave and I started that about five years ago. We've got 11,000 plus members in there. And that's just a great way to see conversations from other loan officers and other markets and see what has been, you know, really important to them. Um, and then there's a couple of mortgage coach specific questions, Dave, someone just saying, what are the pitfalls that LOs run into when, when starting off with mortgage coach? And then someone else just saying that they don't know if they have access to the debt consolidation. I don't know if that's rolled out to everyone yet or not. So debt consult is rolled out to everyone. Um, there should be some videos in our YouTube channel uh, and, and some marketing on that. Also, you could email support at mortgagecoach.com or go to chat. Uh, so that's, that's that. What, what was the other mortgage coach question, Todd? Um, about just uh, pitfalls. And I would, I would probably just say, cause we want to probably get um, Todd from Evergreen back on here in a minute. So he can uh, say some closing words. Uh, maybe you can just point him where they can get some, some, uh, some additional info on that, Dave. Yeah. I, well, to me, whether it's mortgage coach or any technology, be clear on your why, like, why am I using this CRM mortgage coach, home bot, any new tech, and then get 25 reps under your belt within two weeks. And then look at your results if you're a manager, share those results. I mean, be clear on your why, 20 reps in two weeks, no more than 30 days, and then share your success. And my closing quote to everyone is, I don't know who did this quote originally, but the illiterate of the 21st century are not those who can't read and write. They are those who can't learn, unlearn, and relearn. Uh, so for the gentleman who said, how do I stay relevant? You, you get really good at unlearning, relearning, and when you see a new trend coming out, you jump in that, like, why should I do this? Do it 20 times. And you'll always be current if you, you just get that. Like, I understand that's part of my role in today's market. Todd, we see you on stage. Uh, hey, go, ahead, fantastic go ahead and pull stuff, us guys. off. Yeah, no, fantastic stuff. We really appreciate you guys joining us today. Um, every, I don't care what size of producer you are on this uh, webinar today. You can use this stuff. I mean, um, there's always ways to get better. You know, the top producers always find a way to get better. And some of this stuff we were uh, shown today uh, definitely can get you there. But, uh, but just like Todd uh, said uh, earlier, um, if you guys want a recording of this webinar, um, just go ahead to the Evergreen Home Loans uh, uh, LinkedIn page and Facebook page, and you have access to the recording of this. And, uh, and that's finalizes everything today. Um, we appreciate Todd and Dave for joining us and uh, everybody have a great day. Thanks everybody. Thanks Todd and Evergreen. Really appreciate the opportunity.